what's up everybody how are you doing welcome to another video of assassin's creed odyssey today we will be looking at the hdr on pc resolution is 1440p gpu is rtx 3060 settings are very high and ultra so everything is maxed out but the resolution is just 1440p uh, the game is not very demanding, by the way, in case you're wondering whether you can run it at 4K. I just don't have a 4K monitor, but if you have a 4K monitor, it's easily can be locked to 4K 60 FPS at high settings, which is a good thing. HDR support is there. I have made a video where I've shown how to enable HDR if you are not able to enable HDR for some reason in this game. FPS will hover around 49 to 52 FPS on a 3060, but you are at 1440p Ultra. Now I've come here just to show you the HDR color gamuts that you can observe or expect, whether they are consistent with HDR profiles that you get when you turn on HDR natively in a game. For example, Orion the Will of the Wiz and Doom Eternal, they have good HDR performance on the PC. Not every game on the PC is HDR optimized. I'm not sure uh, why that is. Uh, it's just that uh, I would assume that HDR for TV was ahead of HDR for monitors and consoles used to be primarily run on TVs rather than monitors. Now maybe consoles are also run on monitors because you have HDMI 2.1. But as of now, HDR is seriously improving. Uh, but it's uh, from what I've seen from what I've seen I've, I've, I haven't seen a lot of complaints recently so I can say this that it is only improving so now if you come over here you can see that uh, the HDR feature is much different from the SDR feature of this game this is my last save game actually and this right here is the region where you can see that there is a huge difference in the quality that you can expect if you look at the sky it automatically feels more it's it's looking a little bit washed out uh but that's uh the color accuracy i think in hdr it may, may look dull it's not saturated enough but i think that is uh, the balanced one and more natural one and but when you come over here and observe this lamp uh this little lamp over here i call this a lamp uh it's looking actually much brighter so the difference is clear like this uh, maybe it's because we're standing close to it. It looks much, much brighter. <laughs> FPS is pretty decent. I would say 47 FPS. If you turn on V-Sync, uh, maybe it will feel more, more or less consistent overall. It will sort of lock it to whatever FPS you wish to lock it to. Maybe even 60 or 30 FPS. 60 FPS is fine. If you want to use VSync, don't use it with 30 FPS. But that's that's right. There is an option to lock FPS in this game. Personally, I think Assassin's Creed Odyssey is uh, the best looking recent Assassin's Creed game. And I know Valhalla looks even sharper and better. I have, to, I have played Valhalla. But the environment is not good. That is the land of the Vikings and Norsemen where you play the game. I just think that the Greece and this land of Athens and Athenians looks much better. This is the land of Spartans and Athenians. So I'm speaking of it from a lower point of view and mythology. This environment is going to be my preference. That is why I think I will end up buying this game once it leaves Game Pass. I will not buy Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Just look at that. If you see the distant moon over there, we can see that it has all of the craters that you would expect a natural moon to have. Now, this is very interesting because this is a technical detail. Um, in a lot of platformers, if you play, if you look at the moon in the background, it, it has a charm to it. It doesn't look like the real moon at all. Um, if you've played Bloodborne or maybe even Dark Souls, some of the boss fights, they have the big moon in the background. 
That is supposed to make things look beautiful. I would say that it does a good job. The presence of moon and having a dark theme in games is always going to add a charm that is going to captivate a lot of people. Even over here, we can see that HDR is in its full glory. Look, looks much better. But the HDR actually, uh, within the game, it's uh, even though you can enable it, it's not looking as good as Ori and the Will of the Wisps, Doom Eternal, which was looking solid with HDR on. I was really impressed by Doom Eternal's HDR performance. And so this is just something different about Ori and the Will of the Wisps. We're talking about the colors. Let's pick up some quests. And as far as the, as far as the free roam is considered in this game, I would say it's not that good. I was really hoping that if if they have the RPG format, the free roam would have would have improved, because there will be some things to do after you finish the game. And I have finished the base game and first free DLC for this, the Fate of Atlantis. This yet to, I have to yet purchase both of the DLCs that are paid DLCs. The first story DLC and the second story DLC. Uh, the legacy of the first blade or something like that. Ah, you are a welcome sight. Your beauty brings light into the darkness of what has become my life. It's good to see you too, Phidias. Now, this is important. No one saw you come here, did they? No. Why? You're sure you weren't followed? Good, good. They're out there, though. Watching. Waiting. You're safe here. Ah, my beautiful innocent. If only the gods would allow me time to grant you immortality in bronze. There'll be time. But the weave of my life is unraveling. I need your help if I'm to stop it. What makes you think you're in trouble now? The other day, I received a skitali and a note. Someone left you a piece of wood and a letter. I can see why you're frightened. Oh, it's so much more than that. What's so special about a stick? It's not just any stick. The Skitali is used by the Spartans to send coded messages. Okay, so let's talk about your stick. Skitali! All right, Skitali. I need to get the code. Then I'll show you how it works. What did the message say? Look to your art. The King of Gods has a message to impart. Fantastic, that's not a message. It's barely passable as a riddle. It's obvious. The king of gods. Zeus? Yes. And what am I? There's so many answers to that, but... I suppose you're a sculptor. Exactly! So, where do I need to go? The Temple of Zeus, of course! It's here in Olympia. The clue for the Skitali should be around the statue. Okay. If it'll put your mind at rest, I'll help. Thank you. Now hurry and look to the statue of Zeus in his temple to find the message. Once I have the clue, I can decipher it with the Skitali. Don't worry. I'll be back as soon as I can. Phidias is paranoid. But maybe it's not all in his mind. This must be what Phidias was looking for. Yeah, take some time 
Um, wait. Yeah, there is already a marker here. So there is uh, always this thing that it takes some time. I think if you focus on it properly, you'll be able to do it properly, uh, like in the first try. But take some time for me to find out. Maybe I'm just playing this after some time. So need to get used to the controls. Epic. Start tracking this quest. Symbol of Zeus, yes. So this is one easy feature that they have given. Allow you to start tracking your quest immediately. So I was, as I was saying, the free roam in this game is not as good compared to uh, the free roam in some of the other games. I, I think uh, personally I enjoy free roaming in uh, Batman Arkham Knight simply because of the Batmobile and Witcher 3 and obviously GTA 5. A any GTA game is going to be solid for free roaming. Uh, Witcher 3 is just because of the world man. Someday I will do a free roam of Witcher 3. And I will show you the free roam experience in uh, Witcher 3. Which is very good actually. Unbelievable craftsmanship. Much better than the statue in Kefalonia. What do we have to do here? Synchronization location. Hmm? Temple of Zeus. Let's climb this and interact with it. So he can decipher the message. So this is free roaming by the way it's not like we are doing it i did not actually come here to do this quest it just happens to be that we are doing this quest because there was the marker and i decided to do this just in the uh, he, just like that randomly so do you like these athenian artifacts over here we can synchronize it. I think let's make sure that we are at the right point before we synchronize. Oh, it's actually over there. We'll go over there and then we'll synchronize because it's Assassin's Creed and why not? I've done this so many times. It almost used to be compulsory in the first Assassin's Creed. To unlock the map and everything. Now I will say, this is 1440p, but it doesn't feel that sharp. And the VRAM utilization is almost, because this is uh, the Xbox One era game, it uh, doesn't uh, utilize a lot of VRAM. So we'll tackle one quest today. So, what was the message? Did it give you the information you were looking for? In a manner of speaking, the message you gave me, I wrapped it around the rod. You wrapped it around your rod? Yes, the Skitali. It's ingenious. The right message for the right rod. Wrap the cloth around it and the letters should align, giving you the message. Yes, very interesting. But what did it say? It's directions. Well, don't keep me waiting. What did it say? It's a list of statues, and uh, there's something else, but it's not complete. Do you think the complete message will be revealed once all the statues have been visited? I would assume so. Someone's gone to a lot of trouble to ensure this remains a secret. Maybe it will reveal the identity of the ones who want to dispose of me. Will you help? Tell me what I need to do. 
There are three locations listed. Each region has a statue of some renown placed there. So it's safe to say that at each of these statues, there'll be a clue? Yes, it'll be quite a journey. The statues are scattered all over. There's one near Kithira, another at Thassos, and also Samos. I should be on my way. This will take some time. Of course. But I am excited to see where this will lead. As am I. Stay safe, Phidias. You too. So this is it. I mean, I guess this will probably be in line with our free roaming goals. Because all you need to do is visit those statues. This won't be an easy task. But whatever the messages reveal must be important. We can call Icarus. I think, sorry, not Icarus. Phobos? Phobos or Demos? I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. This sword looks nice. Let's look at the quests. Probably see if we can track this. Not this. Do we have to actually talk to him to get the other three statues location? Let's go. We'll have to talk to him. Let's free roam around her, but let's set a marker here just in case. We were over here before. Let's go. Um, let's see if we can set a better marker. I think this marker will disappear in case. I'm doing something else and I'm changed the marker. Yeah, definitely. Mm. And I don't think there is an option in this game to create a, a marker for visiting this place later. It's just that if I set a marker, different marker, this marker will disappear definitely. the things that we can do in free roam is to beat the crap out of these guys just for fun I was trying to help them but now that they are calling for it let's beat the crap out of them Here comes my help. These guys. Oh, let's use some powers. Yep. There used to be some powers here. Oops. Oops. What? what? Did I just kill my ally? I don't know what did I do. <laughs> I accidentally pressed a button. Because I'm still figuring out what are the controls that I was using. Now civilians are attacking me. It's time to get the hell out of here. I think I made a huge boo-boo using that power unknowingly on my ally. I think she was my ally. I don't know. I made this truce with the Amazonians. Art Heroes of Artemis. That's the name of the quest. Something like that. I don't know. Daughters of Artemis. <laughs> Yeah, Daughters of Artemis. I forget uh, a lot of things in this game uh, because 
of the fact that I'm playing this after a really long time. And in between, I've played a lot of games. So, totally forgot how things will go in this game. As far as the accuracy of all of the world that they create, I think that is the only good thing that Ubisoft does, giving you a historical experience. I think they got this idea when they came up with the first game and you have an animus, you go back to another reality, another your ancestors reality. They would have thought, well, let's market this and let's create another series. And for the most part, I think they did good. Uh, when it comes to financial success, they definitely are successful financially. I don't think uh, there is a very long franchise like Ubisoft is. A very long franchise as in it has a lot of games. Especially in the uh, Western gaming or American Flash European gaming uh, products. Especially if we are looking at AAA titles. Assassin's Creed is one and Call of Duty is another. But Call of Duty doesn't resonate as much with the single player games. In the single player gaming community. I guess that's it. Uh, we can save the game manually in this game. And you can, I think, keep local backups of your save in case you want to buy this game later uh, because you played through Game Pass and now you want to, you bought this game from GOG or Steam. You can always, always back up the saves. This is the Game Pass version, by the way. Um, and I'm thinking of buying it, but I don't know whether I will actually end up buying it. But it's on my list. It's on my wish list. Um, it's just that the Uplay launcher is a problem. So in PC, I, if I find a way to transfer the saves because this did not have cross progression. If this was having cross progression. I played this on my PC. I only recently got an Xbox Series X. So it's definitely worth playing on the Series X if you have the Xbox, then uh, probably buy it. If your if your save is on the Xbox or the Assassin's Creed Odyssey, definitely buy it over there because you'll get Xbox achievements and the Xbox is just making things smoother here compared to the PC with so many launchers and downloading UConnect, which has so many ads. It has so many ads, I'm just telling you. Uh, even just on the front page itself, we'll see an ad. Let's... Ooh, they are angry from last time, I think. Okay, now I have to fight. Okay, I see what I did last time. Where are you? You will lose your life. That's it for free roaming guys. I hope you like the video and if you want me to make some random videos of games. Um, like free roaming, doing random stuff in games, free roaming, random missions. There, there are a lot of random events in GTA 5. As I said before, free roaming in GTA 5, Batman Arkham Knight and Witcher 3, which was the best experience for free roaming for me so thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys next time please like the video and subscribe